So I just wanted to record a little update here on the uh, tow and review for the Ram. Um, so right now behind me I got a uh, 96 Firebird that I just picked up, so super excited about that. Uh, but it's on a U-Haul car trailer, so the Firebird weighs in I think at a little bit over 3,000, I think like 3,500 pounds, something like that. Um, and then the trailer I think is somewhere around 22. So, you know, at most 6,000 pounds behind us. So we're right now on the V6 with the 355 gears. Um, in the back rated at 7,500 pound tailing capacity. So we're close to that. I mean, we're not super far away, but there is definitely some wiggle room. We're safely under it, uh, probably by at least 1,000, 1,500 pounds or so. Um, and I gotta say, for the V6, I had pretty low expectations. I got this truck, um, I had a Hemi before this, and that thing could tow. It was amazing, like, really, really well. I uh, never had any issues with it. Um, and a couple of things I just wanted to show everyone. So if you're kind of on the fence about these V6 trucks, can they pull, uh, can they not pull? So this is the e-torque version, the fifth gen. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you the stats. So I've been running here for, I think like maybe 30 minutes, somewhere in that range. Uh, trans is at 180, it stayed at 180. That includes a couple of grades going uphill, going on an on-ramp. Um, the coolant temp, I don't know what the programming is in this truck, it's kind of weird, but uh, it'll go up to 230, then the fans will kick on, then it'll go down to 190, then it'll gradually work its way back up to 230, and then back down to 190, so not really sure why it waits until 230 for the fans to come on, it's probably some emissions, regulations, or who knows what, but um, if I could change the programming, I'd want it at 210 all day, but obviously the engineers know a heck of a lot more about these things than I do. Um, oil temp and the coolant temp have been basically the same. So it hasn't gone over 230 at all, um, really not pushing the truck too hard here, it's in tow haul mode. I did lock out the trans uh, out of 8th gear, um, I don't know if it would even go into 8th gear, um, but didn't want to give it that opportunity, obviously. great way to keep your transmission cooler is to have it shift less, so by just keeping it in a consistent gear on the highway, um, less shifting means cooler temps, so, you know, when you're a little bit pushing your load a little bit uh, closer to the limit of your towing capacity, then you want to do all the little things that you can do to kind of make it a little bit easier, so... Uh, like I said, super impressed with the truck. This was the one thing that I was on the fence about. You know, I, I tow, you know, cars, things like that, maybe once, twice a month at most. Um, and other than that, I'm commuting back and forth to work. So um, the V6 made a lot of sense uh, for me because of that, you know, in terms of having a mild hybrid for the city miles and, you know, all that. It saves a lot of money on gas getting back and forth to work. But um, the fact that it's pulling this, as good as it is, not really working too hard. All the temps are cool. Uh, it is 48 degrees outside, um, so not freezing. Obviously, it's not a super hot day. I'm sure it'd you know, be, uh, be a little bit more challenging if it was 90 degrees outside, but um, on the whole, the truck's doing it. I'm barely pushing down on the gas pedal. Um, from the, the driver's seat, doesn't really feel like I'm pushing it too hard, um, and it seems like it, it's got some more, more to it. I do have to say though with the flatbed trailer and the, the Firebird, the Firebird is a very low profile car so not a whole lot of wind resistance, it's really just the weight back there so that's definitely something that, that would help out a little bit. I know sometimes those box trailers behind you just catch like a sail on the freeway. So, uh, Like I said, I wish I could have seen a video like this before I bought it, it would have given me a, a lot more confidence when I was looking at some of these V6s. Like I said, 355 gears in the back, uh, can't imagine 321s would make a huge difference uh, in terms of being a lot worse. but. Um, like I said, it's, it's in the perfect RPM range. Truck's happy, transmission's happy, and as a result, I'm happy and pulling this home. Uh, one final thing just to show you. Um, reset the trip here, so 35 miles, 35 minutes, and 16 uh, miles per gallon. So um, honestly, that's what my Hemi would get <laughs> driving without a trailer on the back. So uh, super, super happy with, uh, with how everything's going here. So. All right, so well, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, like I said, you know, I, before I bought this truck, I was real nervous about could it actually tow what I needed it to, and uh, I've been pretty happy with how it's doing so far. So thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment, all the things uh, always help out the channel. Just want to do a wrap-up video. Uh, I just pulled in here um, onto our street, so ended up getting 17.1 miles a gallon over 76 miles um, in our kind of final temps here. Um, ended up at 185 and sitting right above 210. So, truck did a great job with about 6,000 pounds back there. Uh, Ohio's pretty flat, but happy with overall.